Hello everyone, Suzy Gaming here and welcome back to another War Thunder episode. As you know, sales are active again. It's a rare event, happens twice in a year. So in this video I'm gonna show you top 5 premium vehicles that I really like. From this list I will remove low tier vehicles. Rank 3, 2, 1 will not be included. If you're gonna ask why, because these ranks are passable really easy. Uh, the amount of research points uh, you need, it's not even comparable to the mid and top tier. So at the fifth spot we have JU288C. You might think, what in the heck Bomber is doing at this list? Here is the thing. This plane is perfect for both air and ground realistic battles. You have two 1.8 ton bombs. You have amazing top speed and you have perfect back gunner. By amazing top speed, I'm not joking about it. Even P-47s cannot catch up to you. Whenever one of my engines on fire, it extinguishes 70% of the time. How do I bump with this? I just uh, straight dive to the enemy with the 45 degrees angle, dropping the bombs, returning to airfield, dropping again. Beautiful, beautiful plane, love it. And I'm pretty sure you love it as well. At the fourth spot we have American T-11-4. This is another unique tank. It has same gun as M50 Ontos, but instead of six barrels it has only one and it's a magazine cannon. Four rounds in one magazine. Just like Route 251 it's a really skilled based tank because it has no armor. It's not fast as 251 but still it has a decent speed. Uh, the gun is just perfect. You can kill anything with this. Only con is the drop of the shell. Uh, the scope you have is similar to the KV-2s. If you're gonna look at the last video, the penetration of the shell was 381. But now it's 433. So now it penetrates even more. Get it. You're gonna love it. At the third spot we have A2D1. I just love this plane. Even though they changed its BR to 7.0 from 6.7, it is still awesome plane. Perfect loadout. I love it. You can kill 5 enemies if you can drop all of your bombs accurately. It, it's a fast climber as well. This plane will help you to grind all US aircraft tech 3. Words are not enough. It's uh, one of my favorite attackers. If you have spare golden eagles, get it. At the second spot, we have German Route 251. It is still fastest vehicle of its BR in German Tech 3. Even though they added Bulldog, Route still outperforms it every way. It has better speed, better horsepower, stronger hit FS shell. It is awesome. And at the first spot, we have T55 AM1. Some of you might think XM1 is better or Leopard A1 L44 is better, but I'm gonna tell you this why I preferred T55 AM1. The first reason is they reduced its BR from 8.7 to 8.3. I believe it's the only tank that has composite armor protection at this BR. I'm really not sure. Uh, fix me if I'm wrong. Stabilization, this guy has ATGM round, uh, smoke screen and smoke grenade. And the second reason is the rank 6 of the Russia is the crowdest rank in game. No any other country have this amount of vehicles at the rank 6. And unfortunately this rank is quite painful to research. The leak of MBT thermals. Russian MBTs get in the thermals at the 10 point though. Higher you get, more night battles you're gonna encounter with. You need to get T55 AM1. That's why it's in the first spot in this list. Now you might think you're encouraging people to spend money on this game. You're wrong. Here is the thing. If you're doing the events, if you get in the event vehicle coupons, you can sell them. So for example, I sold my BI coupon uh, for 70 gaijin coins what 70 gaijin coins means it means 70 bucks how much uh, t55m will cost at discount with 50 percent discount it will cost 30. you don't need to spend money if you do events 
if you gain those uh, rare event vehicles you can sell them in the market modified version of t55 obviously if you're gonna uh, ask what's the big difference first of all t55a doesn't have laser rangefinder it doesn't have atgm round and t55m1 also has some good composite armor protection if you get t55am1 you can basically skip rank 6 completely and get to this sweet sweet russian top tiers they also adding t90 as you know from the new trailer so i think this is a good time to get t55 m1 i hope they will not change its br back to 8.7 again right now it's in a really good place so while i was editing this video ijin announced a new russian premium tank so the price of it will be 60 bucks same price as t55 m1 uh, so you need to select really carefully here t 72 av will probably be 9.3 or 9.7 it's gonna have thermal so it's going to be second mbt in rank 6 who has thermal the other one is tadb there is a huge difference between 8.3 battle and where the new t72 av will be which is gap of uh, 9.3 9.7 it's that kind of matches where you can get a snipe from the other side of the map much much easier it is madness at the t55 am1 what we have last night battles cast madness what do we have at 9.7 which could be the br of this new premium tank we have more night battles cast and also the risk of getting up tier to 10.7 which means uh, more modern helicopters so here it depends on player now I will leave that up to you. Soviet rank 6 is really complicated. Kinda boring because all tanks are feeling repetitive. Not much of difference between them. So it's the tier that you wanna skip really really fast. And you either gonna skip it by playing in it with a new premium. Or you're gonna avoid it with a T55 AM1 and stay at BR of 8.3. Choice is yours. But that's it for today. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.